Hi coloring friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. I'm so happy to have you joining me today for another episode of Coloring Outside the Book. That is a series on my channel where I take different things and um, color using most often a coloring book. Um, but it's things that I can take out of the coloring book and have in everyday life. So this month, the project that I'm working on is I have this little wooden birdhouse and we were in a craft store and my daughter saw this and said that this reminded her of Coraline and that she would like to make, or she thought that this would make a great uh, Coraline themed house. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use that. Um, Coraline gives me Halloween vibes. To me, it's got a a darker tone to it for sure um, and so we came up with a color scheme we thought would be nice to use and the game plan is I'm going to paint the house um, and then for the roof of the house I'm going to do some coloring and then sort of decoupage it onto the top so um, I really liked, I had, I went through my coloring books and I know she has, um, stars are kind of a focus at one point of the movie. And so I thought this, um, little cutout here would be perfect to use for the roof. And I like that it has, uh, the black background already in it. Um, cause black is one of the colors I'm going to be using on the house, um, and one of the buttons at least is going to be black as well because um, because that is what the parents' eyes are, is the button eyes. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to print this out, make a copy of this page, and then I'm going to cut out a portion of the roof for either side. And then I will color it um, using the color scheme that we have come up with for the house. And then we will um, put it all together. So let me go ahead and put this stuff aside. And we will, I think, get into probably painting the house first. I think that's probably going to be my best move is to paint and then um, do the color and decoupage last. So let's get going. All right. I think I've gathered all the supplies that I'm going to be needing to work on my Coraline themed birdhouse here. I have printed out the image on some regular copy paper. I think that's going to be best to use. I'll cut it out to fit the roof and then um, sort of mod podge it onto the roof there. Um, I'm going to color the base of the house with paint it with the jet black paint I have here. And then I may try to incorporate some of this sparkly gold paint over top of the black in different areas just to give it a little interest. Um, so it's not just a solid black painted house. Now the pencils I chose to use for my picture are the Prismacolor here. And I settled on this mix of blues, which were inspired by Coraline's hair in the movie. And then this mix of yellows and a little bit of a greenish tone. Um, the lettering and then if you look at a lot of the yellows in the movie are have that greenish glowing uh, quality to them. So I went with that. Um, the buttons on the front of the house, I am definitely going to use a pink vermilion and chartreuse. Um, because that is the option of eye colors that the mom gives Coraline in the movie. So I wanted to incorporate those. And um, obviously if I painted them black as well as the house, then um, they would get lost. So <laughs> that's the plan for the buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into actually putting the base coat of the black on the house. Um, I will be putting all of that to music and sped up, um, otherwise it would be a very, very long video. So I'm going to go ahead and get the house painted and then I will start with, um, move into the coloring of the picture and then I'll come back at the end when we're putting it all together. Um, so let's get going.
Okay, so I've got my design all colored in, and now I'm just going to use my uh, Fisker's paper cutter to cut along the lines that I made uh, for the shape of the roof of the birdhouse. So if you were wondering why I stopped coloring the design where I did, it was because I have lines here on the paper um, that tell me where the birdhouse is. So I figured why color an area that's just gonna get cut away anyway? Okay, I just held the paper up to the birdhouse to see kind of where my next cut needs to be. So I think we're gonna do right here. There we go. All right, and I've got it here, and I think we are about good I did just realize though there's a little bit of area here that did not get colored and I forgot these dots here so let me get those real quick. Okay so now I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I'm going to paint it onto the roof and put down my papers and then we will move on to the front and coloring the buttons. That's the part I'm most looking forward to. <laughs> so we'll be back once these are all glued down here. All right, I am back and I have glued down my uh, coloring to the roof of my birdhouse here. And I did kind of chicken out a little bit and instead of using decoupage, uh, Mod Podge and sort of decoupaging it onto the roof, I just used craft glue, painted it onto the wood, and then um, stuck down my paper. Um, I was just concerned how the Mod Podge would react to the colored pencil and then also to the gel pen that I used on it, um, the paper. So I'm, I'm going to do a little more testing, and if it does work, I have another idea for another another coloring outside the book, but for today, we're just going to glue it down and call it a day. This is going to be an inside birdhouse for me. If you wanted to use yours outside, you would want to um, definitely coat, coat it over with a protective spray um, before using it outside. Um, so I have my pink chartreuse and um, vermilion button colors picked out here. And they're just Cali Art markers that I chose. Um, I'm a little nervous about how the alcohol marker is going to react to the wood too. I did not test that out ahead of time either. So fingers crossed that this takes okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think how I decided I wanted to do this. Um, I think I'm going to do this guy up here as a pink. Right. All right, that is going not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do this one here as a pink also. This one, the button actually, the edge kind of broke away a little bit. So I'm just going to have to get in there a little carefully. Oh, that part's getting ready to go to. We'll make him hang on at least for the video here. Okay, so there's my pinks. And then we're going to go in with the vermilions. And I'm going to do these two here in vermilion. Actually, I'm just going to do this one and see how I like it. And then I can decide whether I'd like to do the one at the bottom here as a second vermilion or a chartreuse. And here's the button that I boo-booed and painted some black paint on. So we'll just have to ignore that little mistake there. All right, I actually think 
I'm going to do another chartreuse button down here. There we go. All right, and that is our birdhouse. I'm going to come out a little bit so I can get a little better uh, uh, show show the angles of it a little better. I'm not sure what this light area is here. I might need to hit that spot with a little more black paint too, but we'll go ahead and come out here. All right, and here we have my completed Coraline-inspired birdhouse. Now, I'm not sure if you would get Coraline just looking at it from, <laughs> from how I did it. Um, maybe the buttons would do it. Um, but I just you know, took inspiration from the movie. And, um, this is one of those projects again, where you can, um, adjust it to suit what you want to do. So, um, you know, a different themed birdhouse it doesn't have to have any theme at all. You could just color a picture you like, um, cut out some areas that would work well on whatever roof shape you're working on, um, and glue them on and, you know, paint your birdhouse, of course, first. Um, I've seen in the craft stores little wooden haunted houses right now, so you could do something like that. Um, and maybe there's some flat areas on the sides of the house where you could put, uh, glue some pictures that you've colored. Um, it's just a way to make, take a craft and, um, add a little more instead of just painting it, which of course is just fine in itself. Um, but you know, use your coloring and get it out of the book and um, on display somewhere or make it part of a nice gift for someone. Um, the possibilities are endless. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, little birdhouse come together. And I thank you so much for joining me for another coloring outside the book. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!